Hi guys, today I will show you some UAVision command and its uses such as here is target command R, assert confirmation, assert edit table and assert element not present. Actually these are only used for confirmation such as when a confirmation is appear a pop up like here you can see here it's a pop up anytime when when you will see like this pop up you can skip this pop up by this method like next command is asset confirm so now it's time to test it's rise and error actually you can see that actual text is that okay so we will need to copy it you can see that it's actual text is press button so you can see that it's properly run just confirm a pop-up you can use it just confirm a pop-up and next is assert edit table and sometime uh, some websites use this attribute uh, to edit like an editor such as I will append a tag like here such as I will edit it uh, and in mostly cases it's appear in like a Facebook, Google and so on but it's very important because you cannot use their type or any type of command which used to type text so you will need to understand it such as and I will give you a ID to target it okay you can see that it's now editable text here you can edit and add a more text and here I want to check it is it editable or not so I will use a assert editable so we will not need to use it this command so I will comment it and when you will use it and you will need to its parameter to select this target it's automatically check its ID okay now I will run only this command you can see it's properly run it's mean check only asset editable and in case of uh, this you will not use any type of command like here you can see here type you cannot use here type such I want to type here but it will not work here because you can see that it's not an input or a nor a text area so it's a minor tricks that is just use edit content and you can use here you can see that it's changed okay it's a little bit trick okay and next command is assert element not present assert element not present actually present presence and visibility both are different things such as some element or not appear because it's have a display non ability such I will search here display none you can see that I will target this you can see that it's presence in a structure but it's not visible so it's used to check only visibility so we'll check here you can see that it's appear an error but it's take, take a time so because it's take a time because it's wait for this element but element is presence but it's check not present so when I will check here when I will use this command it will check it you can see that it's properly run so it's not rise and error it's mean it's presence in a body but it's not a visible in a body I will show you why to check its visibility and presence and how to check and use it such as you can check its assert not check actually it's a uh, same as assert check but its opposite direction just here we will uh, use uh, assert not checked uh, and target this element you can see that it's targeted and when we will run it you can see that it's properly run not rise and error because it's check assert not check because it's not check so it's a return a true okay and next is assert not editable 
is such or not editable it's a same as editable but it's a uh, in a opposite direction so uh, it's it's a reverse process such as i will target it because it's editable element so it, it will rise an error uh, it's editable but uh, we are checking it, it's not editable if we choose any other the any other content which is not editable then it's properly run not a rise an error such as we will choose it this so you can see that it's properly run okay and next is assert prompt assert prompt is the same but it's give a value search we will refresh this page and you can see that only for check assert prompt only check uh, that which is assert prompt so it's check that its text is, is equal to this so next is assert text actually it's use just uh, just uh, if we expect this uh, text is equal to our expected uh, is equal to our expected text so we will use this command to use uh, to check that is equal to or not such as i want to check this this header that is equal to this text or not so i will use it such as hey, here first parameter is its path and second parameter is its text so we will use it you can see that it's properly run it's mean it's matched by this text when i will make it wrong like uh, this so when i will click here you can see that uh, we expected this text but this text is equal to this text it's a title it's just you use for check the type page title of your page such as in our case we will find its title here is the title of your page it's a title so we will copy it and just verify you can see that that it's right it's according to your expectation this page or not so the next is asset value actually it's used for just confirmation of value such as here is input and i want to check its value so if i expect it's already have a value so like this i will copy its id and i will put here its id and i expect that is its value is ali but its value is not is equal to this so it will rise an error so because its value is empty you can say, check that its actual value is empty so actually its value is empty so i will write here ali then its value is equal to ali so i will check its again you can see that its now its right according to your uh, expectation so next command next command is break break actually we will use its later because it's used with other commands it's not used alone because uh, it's used in a loop and here is a bring your browser at top such as our top browser is this and i want to take up it front so i will run this command you can see that it's top it's take it top so the next command is bring bring id forum actually it's put both uh, ua vision and chrome it will take in a background of both ua vision and chrome browser you can see that on your click it will take your browser at background you can see that again that is another browser so here is a capture desktop screenshot actually this command take a full screenshot of your actually this take us a full screenshot of your desktop such as i want to take a screenshot here remember that it's take only in a png format so i will use this you can see that it's take a complete you can see that and in case of and in case of entire page it's very useful command and it's very tricky and what you will need 
but maybe you will need to its combine with other command which is better for its uh, its other command you will need to for background for wrong okay and it's very tricky command now you can see that when you will run it you will see that it's a screenshot and it's an entire page even you will not need to scroll it you can see that it's entire page and here is capture screenshot actually it's a screenshot of a current view you can see that its current view is this which you are which you are also see everyone can see it and only its take only in a view such as capture this so you can see that it's not take a entire page view just in a view okay and 